Why are you gonna give me a gift? You hate me. Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. Thank you. It's probably a box full of dog <gasps> or something. But anyways, what's going on, guys? It's Jacob, and welcome back to some more Fable 3, where we will continue our bad playthrough here as the chicken man. If you missed any of the last episodes, be sure to <laughs> check them out down below in the description. I did not actually mean to light that woman on fire. All right, fine. I'll do my community surface, whatever. It's only 50 coin worth. I'm actually kind of glad that I ended up here making pies, because I wanted to make some extra money anyways to buy more property. Gosh, I messed up my oh, stupid pie. No, oh, it's Wendy the beggar. You need some money? Thank you. Here's your money. I have some presents here. I should, might as well open some of them. Oh, we got a lot of crap. I keep getting hammers and packages of drugs, I think. All right, so I have this champion hammer that does 41 damage now, so I'm going to snag that real quick. All right, so someone was kind enough to actually let me know with a comment in last video that I do need to actually take care of my homes that I own for people to actually pay to live here, which which sucks. But you gotta do what you gotta do, but I'll fix their home and raise their rent, simple as that. And I have enough gold to buy one more house, so uh, Poppy the Dweller, you no longer live no. here, sorry. Returns. Bringing back the crock pot to uh, the king here of this little village. Oh, now he's forcing me to promise to restore these mountains to their full glory. I hereby promise, blah, 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 there's my signature. Yeah, somehow all these people are now my allies. I don't know how or why but i'll take it and i get some new upgrades <gasps> yes and i can upgrade my pie making skills make more money from that nice and i can also get the joker expression pack hopefully i can like vomit on people or something that'd be pretty cool that'd be quite the joke yeah they're cheering me on i'm the hero <laughs> yeah hey celebrate me with confetti now <laughs> there's no authorities here because you guys are so poor i am the authority here actually you know what no you don't get to say, I'm your new king. I promise to keep you guys protected. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, I've killed like half the town's folk. All in front of these little children too. Hopefully those weren't any of the people I was renting out my houses to. I don't always bury the people I kill, but oh, it looks like we got some people we're about to bury right here. 300 and something gold every five minutes now from all the property I own in that poor little village. Oh, where the hell did you, you guys literally fell from the sky. What the hell is this? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that was quite the bonk. <laughs> there we go. I finally just lit him on fire and killed him. Now there's some freaking wolves. All right, I'm just going to run by. I really don't care. Dog, you can take care of him if you'd like. Escort Billy the Trader to Brightwall? No, shut up. I'm not taking you anywhere. <laughs> it's not letting me kill him or light him on fire, unfortunately. All right, you can just stand out here and stare at the wall for all I care. Where the hell am I going? Why is there a train station or a monorail station inside of a cave? Why are you taking me, Walter? There's the imbecile. All right, let's see what he wants. I don't like how any of these people are standing, staring at each other and not sitting on the benches. Oh, yeah, they don't seem to mind that I just killed someone. Die. No one will survive. All right, I think I just committed an act of terrorism here on this monorail station. Just murdered everyone. <laughs> hey, what's up, Walter? He doesn't seem to mind that I just killed like half a dozen people right in front of him. And here it comes. Why is it shaped like the the bus from SpongeBob? Oh God, what's going on now? Is the train gonna explode? Yep. Okay. Look what you've done, Walter. Hopefully, there's no one in it. No. Oh, some guy named Stan was talking. I think he was the conductor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think he's dead. Why? Well, sure. No, we don't have to save them. Oh, another 354 gold. Nice. Hey, Walter, while you were sitting on your ass, I actually got busy and became a landlord. You're gonna break your sword doing that, dumbass. Jesus Christ. Ow! Thanks for the warning, dipshit. My poor dog must be so confused. I don't know why I bring him along to these adventures. All I do is probably fill him with trauma. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what are these little freaks doing? Oh, they're so goofy looking. All right, well, time to die. Don't leave any of the little bastards alive. No, I wasn't planning on it. Die, die. Where do you think you're going, pal, huh? There we go, I just lit his ass on fire. All the survivors died, what a shame. I would've put them out of their misery anyways. All right, now these frog-looking dudes are after me. These guys actually look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, come on, they literally have a bandana over their eyes. They're, they're, they're literally Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh. <laughs> I just blew them all up. I come intrude on their habitat and then just blow them all up. I, I really don't think that I'm the good guy here. Speaking of being a good guy, I need to buy more property real quick. Stay away from me, you Teenage Mutant Ninja freaks. All right, there we go. We just took out a massive group of them. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Jesus Christ. Walter. Do something, Walter. Oh, we got him on the run. 
Run away! Seems they can't compete with our technology. You can't kill me. I'm not done building my empire. I'll never die. Oh my god, there's like corpses everywhere. Skulls? Human remains in those bags up there? Maybe I did do the right thing by killing all these people. See, you know, if this game really wanted me to be the good guy, they wouldn't have me continue going through this dungeon murdering, committing genocide on these Hobbs people. We could find a new way of transporting around via train. We don't have to go through the, their habitat, but... Nope, they want me to kill him. I'm just glad Walt is here to watch me commit war crimes and commit some with me as well. Ah, oh, you stupid witches. I'm gonna start doing some of my anabolic steroids to help kill these guys. There we go. This, this makes things so much easier. They can't even touch me at all. All right, just light this last little pig thing on fire and we win. All right, there we go. We have murdered the rest of them. Entrepreneur pack, learn how to haggle and own shops and you'll soon be running your own business empire. I love the sound of that. All right, show us what you got, Walter. Boo! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's all we had to do? And he just dies of a heart attack. No, this swamp kind of sucks, but I wouldn't mind to meet Shrek. Are we gonna meet Shrek, Walter? Did Walter have his own, like, side cult army or something? What the hell? I'm not even listening to the conversation. I'm just going around looting the place. This guy's probably so confused why the prince is in a chicken suit. Alright, I'm being taught how to shoot some mortars. I'd love to use this on some townsfolk. Or the next village I go and conquer. This thing is badass. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually want to take on the t a town with this. This is... Oh, that was sweet in slow motion, too. This is what it truly feels to be like a warlord. This is awesome. Alright, finally, I'm done blowing them up. Didn't you buffoons get out of the line of fire? You damn sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, you deserve that. I can rain ice on them and then throw fireballs at them. This is sick. Oh no, did Jimmy die? No! <laughs> No! You sons of bitches. <laughs> he taught me how to use mortars. I've only known him for like three minutes. How dare you? All right, we finally killed them all. I I stayed quiet for most of this massive fight, but this was actually really, really fun. One of the uh, lieutenants is coming back from the dead, and I think he got a cannonball to the stomach. All right, I'm just going to slow down time, just like I do for all the boss fights. Not dying here, not dying now. There we go. Take that, you big bastard. Soldier's Oath. I have to make more promises? Jesus Christ. But it sounds like I'll have the power and influence of armies? I like the sound of that. Yeah, sure, I can make a promise. My favorite promises are the ones you don't keep. All right, let's see what upgrades we can get to now. The bully expression pack. Become a master thief by learning how to steal? I've been doing that already, but shit. <laughs> Apparently, it's been legal. Just that rent. All right, we got some new money makers in town. <laughs> Is he gonna give me money now? Oh. <laughs> He just shit himself, I think. <laughs> this guy's kids are watching him get bullied by some man in a chicken suit. God, I love this game. I would have loved this game as a child. We're like back in the main city, I think. I don't know what this place is. Oh, hey, hey Tom the beggar. You got any money I can steal? Poor. Straight. <laughs> Straight up, man. I'm gonna threaten some homeless, man. You can only steal from a store when the shopkeeper isn't around. That's one of the only things you truly can steal, apparently, in this game. So, whenever I find a shopkeeper, I can try to steal from it. Well, what the hell is going on here? An execution? Cool. I can do the honors if you guys like. This this lunatic in the top hat is like the dictator of this town. See, me and this guy are really similar. We just kill innocent lives. Like, it doesn't matter. All right, well, the new guy seems cool, and hopefully soon I will be taking over. Can I loot the corpse? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, there's one last place I want to visit, and it's this pub here. I want to see if I can steal from this pub. Hello, I like all the money in the register. Yeah, I don't care if they're seen. Oh, 100 gold. Nice, I will take that. All right, now time to run from the police. All right, I'll hide down this back alley. Surely no one will know the chicken man will be down here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in here in my little sanctuary to end the video. And future Jayco in the future video will have to worry about that later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like and a comment with your feedback down below. That'd be very much appreciated. If you are new, consider subscribing in the meantime. Check out some more of my videos here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.